Okay. Okay, so let's begin. So my name is Lewis, and we're going to do a very simple 15 minute or so, or even less, yoga routine. And the idea is to um, really experience um, the benefit of, of grounding. So there's going to be a lot of practices that are involved relating to the physical ground, and also a lot of awareness on breath as well. So to begin, I'd suggest coming to a comfortable seated position, which might be sitting on a chair, and that's fine. But if you're comfortable, if you're comfortable on the floor, feel free to make yourself comfortable. If you can sit cross-legged, that's great, or anyway that's comfortable for you. And if you are sitting cross-legged, or if you're on a chair, really establish, again, starting with the ground, just establish a real feeling of connection to the ground. So have your feet on the ground if you're sitting, if you're sitting on a chair, just get a real feel for the support you're getting from the chair. And then focus it on your spine. And as the lower half of your body releases down, as your hips release downward, as you feel that established connection to the ground, create some length and up, lengthening up through your spine. So make yourself taller without lifting your hips, just your spine. And then you can roll your shoulders back and down. That should leave you with a nice open lifted feeling across your chest. And then take the top of your head and gently lift it upward, just to give yourself more of a sense of tallness. See what your eyes are doing. If you feel comfortable with this, you can close your eyes. If you'd rather have the eyes open, soft, steady gaze. Relax your face, release your jaw. And then in the midst of this sitting, just take notice of your breathing. Without trying to control the breath, just watch your breath flowing through you. Inhaling and exhaling. And pay particular attention to how the breath is moving through your body. Notice the body expanding on the inhale and feel the body releasing back on the exhale. And if you like, you can actually take control over your breathing, deepening your breath. Next exhalation, breathe out fully. If you can, breathe through the nose. Follow with a deep, full inhale. And just continue that process of deep inhaling, slow, controlled exhaling. And again, feeling your whole body responding to the breath. Feeling your body open on the inhale. Feel the body release back on the exhale. Stay with your breathing. Stay with that experience of body expanding on the inhale, body releasing on the exhale. And after your next exhalation, let your breath go back to normal. And then you can open your eyes if, you're, if they're closed. If you're sitting on the ground, you can extend your legs and shake them out. And then from here, you can make your way, if you're not on your mat already, you can make your way onto your mat. And we're just going to come to an all fours position. That means, um, you want your wrists below your shoulders, your knees about hip distance apart. And hopefully you have a soft surface beneath you, either a yoga mat or a carpet. If you don't, you might want to get a blanket or even towel, just to soften, you know, the, soften the, the ground, you could say. Yeah, just take a few, few moments here. So your knees are about hip distance apart, wrists below the shoulders. And we do this movement called cat cow. It's a great way to warm up the spine. So round the spine upward, draw the tailbone in, draw your chin towards your chest. Take a few breaths here. Your arms should feel really stretched and you should feel like you're drawing your shoulders away from the ground. And then we're gonna come into cow position. Let your belly release down, 
Lift your tailbone, lift your chest, gaze forward, take a few breaths here. And then we're gonna to try to synchronize movement and breath. So as you come to your next exhalation, round the spine back up into cat position. Tuck your tailbone and chin, real slow. Now a really slow inhalation, lift your tailbone, lift your chest, gaze forward. And then continue, exhaling, rounding back up into cat. The breathing is slow, the moving is slow. You could almost say it's slow motion. Really pay attention, breathing and moving. And then just let your spine come back to neutral position. And then from here, we're gonna come into a pose called child's pose. So you can flatten your feet, if they're really not flat, and then draw your hips as far back as comfortable. You can get your hips to the heels, great, but as far back as comfortable. And if you can, see so if you can get your forehead resting on the ground. If your forehead doesn't reach the ground, you can just let your head hang. And let your elbows bend. So your elbows are resting against the floor, so your shoulders can really relax. And just take a few moments here, maybe just picking up on the rhythm of your breathing. You're really close to the breath in this pose. It's called child's pose. Maybe picking up on the rhythm of your breathing. Feeling that closeness to ground. And don't slide your palms back. Keep your palms just where they are. Raise back up onto your knees. This time we're gonna curl our toes under. So we're still going on all fours and the toes curled under. And then raise the knees off the ground and come into a pose called downward dog. So your knees are straight. You wanna draw your arms back. You wanna draw your shoulders back. You wanna draw your hips back. So you should feel some length through your spine. Your heels are gently pressing toward the ground. And take a few moments here, work with the ground, feel your body, your hands, your, your, your feet pressing into the ground as you draw your hips back. Just let the breath flow naturally. And then you can bring the knees back down to the ground again. Completely turn your body over, come onto your back. Once you get onto your back, you can draw the knees in towards your chest. Take hold of the knees with both hands. And it might feel good just to rock a little bit from side to side. And then come back to center. And then still holding onto the knees, make some circles with the knees. All the way around. And then you can circle in the opposite direction, all the way around. Come back to center, extend your legs along the ground, completely turn your body over, come onto the front of your body. So you're gonna be lying on your belly. You want your arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Bring your cheek to the side. Flatten your feet. And just take a few moments here, really feeling the ground here. Feeling the ground against your whole body. Feeling your breath flowing. And just maybe noticing as you're breathing, just notice the belly pressing against the ground. Maybe even noticing how soothing, how calming the ground can be. And 
And then just to get a good balance um, stretch to the neck, you can turn the cheek to the opposite side and see how that feels. And then we'll do a pretty gentle back bend. So bring your chin to the floor, bring your legs together, maybe even touch your heels if you can. Your arms are alongside your body, tuck them in, get your arms really close to your body, and then stretch back through your legs, stretch back through your arms. And then as you inhale, raise your head off the ground, raise your chest off the ground, and try to get high enough if you can, so that most of the weight is on your belly. Continue to stretch back through your arms, stretch back through your legs, your gaze is forward. Begin to take in some nice full breaths. And as you inhale, feel your body lift a bit. As you exhale, feel your body release a bit. And focus here on the ground and your belly against the ground particularly. And just let your belly soften with each exhalation. And the next exhalation, let your chin come back down to the ground. Completely flip your body over, come onto your back again. Once you get onto your back, draw your knees back in towards your chest, take hold the knees with both hands. And again, we'll make some circles with the knees all the way around. Great way to release tension that might have built up in your low back. And then opposite direction, all the way around. Come back to center. Keep the knees in towards your body. Bring your arms out to the side, shoulder level, palms facing up. Turn your head to the left so your left ear is toward the ground. Keep the knees close to your body and let your knees drop to the right. If your feet don't touch the ground, and if your knees don't touch the ground, let your feet rest against the floor. You might want to close your eyes here, it's an option. And here you just want to just relax, feel the ground beneath you. Let your arms, hands, fingers relax. Let your face relax. Your knees are falling toward the floor. And as you lie here, also notice how the breath is moving through your body. Let that also be a focus. Completely relaxed and just aware of how the breath is flowing through you. And then see if you can keep the knees touching or toward each other. Draw your knees back into your chest. Bring your head back to center. Keep your knees in. Look toward your right shoulder, right ear toward the floor. Let your knees fall to your left. And like I said, if the knees don't touch the floor, at least let your feet rest on the ground. So you can really relax here. So just check in, arms relaxed, hands, face relaxed. And then again, you can just notice how your breath is flowing through and your body's in this shape. And just simply enjoy the ground, the flow of breath through your whole body. And again, try to keep the knees touching or toward each other. Draw your knees back into your chest. Take hold of the knees again with your hands. And this time, just gently rocking from side to side. And then we'll do one more short practice before we end the class. Extend your legs along the mat. Have your arms alongside your body, palms facing up. So you want your legs the right distance away from each other. So your low back can be most relaxed. 
your arms the right distance away from the body so your shoulders and neck are much relaxed. And this pose is called corpse pose. So just begin by just taking notice of the ground again, right? Feel your whole body in contact with the ground. And with every inch of your body, see if you can get a sense of the ground beneath you. And just let you, allow your body just to release. Let go of any muscular tension if you can. And a nice way to make that happen, to help let go of, of muscular tension, is with breathing. So again, we'll take in some deep breaths. If you can, breathe through your nose. Nice full inhales, slow controlled exhales. Again, feel the breath opening your body on the inhalation. And every time you exhale, just feel release. Your whole body releasing with each exhalation. After the next exhale, let your breath go back to normal. And then we'll spend about 30 seconds, maybe a minute or so, just enjoying the ground, feeling the support of the ground beneath you. Just letting your body just release into the ground. Draw the knees back in toward your chest. Roll to the right side of your body, fetal position for a few breaths. Continue to enjoy the ground. And then just as we began the class, we'll make ourselves uh, uh, come up to a, back to a seated position. I wonder that for you, whether it's on a chair, or on the ground, and we'll close just as we began. So if you're, wherever you're sitting, find a comfortable place for your palms. See if you can get that feeling of groundedness, right? So feel the ground beneath you. Feel the support you're getting from the ground. And at the same time, lift up your spine. Make yourself tall. Shoulders back and down, nice open lift of feeling across your chest. Relaxed face. See how you want to, whether you want to close your eyes or just have them softly open. And again, returning to your breath. Just take a few moments here, just tuning back into your breathing. That be your focus, watching your body breathe, feeling your body breathe. And then palms in front of your chest. Take a few moments here. And then we'll just bow to close the class. Okay. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed that.